everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Kelly McGonigal and her intriguing book, The Upside of Stress. The book has the subtitle, Why Stress is Good for You and How to Get Good at It, and is, in its essence, a rarely positive approach towards stress. Building on the latest scientific research, McGonagall teaches us how to embrace stress and use it to become happier, healthier, and more productive. Let's walk you through the essential points put forward in the book. How Stress Earned Its Bad Reputation in the 1930s, Hungarian endocrinologist Heinz Selye ran a series of experiments with rats, testing the effects of stress on their bodies. He concluded that stress had significant health impacts for the animals. Taking his findings a step further, he theorized that stress affects humans similarly. As a result, even to this day, most health experts preach that stress is dangerous. Learn to manage your stress, they say, or suffer severe consequences such as heart disease, depression, or addiction. When they say manage your stress, they actually mean reduce it, either through relaxation techniques or by reorganizing your life. However, according to McGonagall, recent research undermines this conventional wisdom. What we know. What Hans Selye failed to consider was that his animal experiments were quite extreme. Hence, while his findings may apply to people who have endured life-threatening trauma or severe abuse, most people's daily stress levels are not as elevated. Hence, his conclusions are not directly transferable. And actually, the latest science indicates that stress is instead a valuable resource since it enhances performance and resilience during challenging moments. Stress as a resource. When pursuing your dreams and goals, you will inevitably encounter stress. McGonagall encourages us to welcome it. By accepting and embracing hardship, you are much more likely to perform at the peak of your abilities. See, scientists consistently find that what really matters is the attitude one has towards stress and that avoiding it may be more harmful to your health and emotional well-being than stress itself. See, every time you face up to a stressful experience, you learn from it. You subtly rewire your brain to handle similar situations in the future. So, if you start reviewing stress as an enabler instead of an impediment, it not only stops imposing a health risk, but can make you more competent. Under stress, business people hold more successful negotiations, athletes advance results, and surgeons improve their agility. Bottom line, the effect you expect is the effect you get. Therefore, the best way to manage stress is not to fight it, but to embrace it. Manage your stress response. To manage stress, learn to trigger an appropriate and beneficial stress response. Focus on your strengths. Make sure you are sufficiently prepared. Draw on past experiences, or visualize the support of friends or family. Another pro tip is to simply help somebody else. Even small acts of kindness stimulate the release of chemicals that support confidence, focus, and empathy. Bottom line, learn to manage and leverage your stress response, and it will become more than just a handy resource. It will be the key to a meaningful life. And there you have it, The Upside of Stress by Kelly McGonigal in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.